Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Lovely Redoubts here with me. Kind of for last minute arrangement really. Yeah it was. Right? It's long no, ago. Spontaneous. Uh, we're not doing a musical talk today. Basically I have got a new job. <gasps> I got this job on Wednesday, and on Wednesday morning, I was feeling pretty rubbish. I was feeling pretty low, mm -hmm. and Ridout and I were texting each other. He was really mean to me. And I was a bit mean to her, and then I apologised to her for being mean. <laughs> the lamest people were here, and they were going to Dubai, and I was thinking, oh, I could have done that job, I guess, and mm -hmm. I was feeling low about it. And then in the afternoon, I was dressing, and halfway through the day, I got a call from my agent of an offer for a job. The reason for this video is, because my day as an actor went from feeling really crappy to getting a job and sometimes I feel like when you get a job it is the best moment. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because all that sort of stress, you know, I've been a little bit short of money. My day, and this is what I kind of, you know, I do talk about every so often and you know I always say I want to keep it great. My landlord's like basically cutting up the garden. Building works. Great. Let's just Pause. Just a sweet. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I, I want to um, keep it real. That's why I wanted to talk about this, because it was like a crazy day for me. A <laughs> really crazy day. Yeah. We've both been talking about how hard it is when, when you're not working. Mm -hmm. And also, I've been talking to another friend of mine. We've been saying, because we're both a bit older, sometimes you feel like it's not, like, the best thing is getting the job, and then actually doing the job. It's our job. It's a job. Yeah, yeah. it becomes a job, and it maybe it never matches up to the kind of, <gasps> of when you get the job. Getting a job is more of a anxiety relief because you just obviously we just wait for the next one to come along. Doing the job is amazing and there's nothing like the adrenaline you get from doing a show but the rush of emotion you feel when all the weights of being able to afford a rent and working for the first time in however many months that just feels amazing. It's a, like a constant roller coaster, isn't it? I mm. constantly feel like I'm emotionally up and down and up and down and up and down, just depending on what's happening with auditions, with ac the actual work, with where you are in, like if you haven't been able to go to class for a while because finances have been low. Finances, I said that really finances. weird. I do that all the time, I say words really weirdly. <laughs> finances are low and you can't even afford to go to class. That's what I was saying to Matt when he was texting me on Wednesday, I said, well, if it still makes you happy, then still do it. And also for me, sometimes I don't want to do it, but out of everything that I do as work, I want to do it the most. And also, I don't know what else I would do that I would don't make know what me else I would do. feel like that. Yeah, that's advice that I was always given, and I will always give to young people that think they want to do musical theatre or acting as a career. If you can see yourself doing something else and being happy doing it, do that. As horrible as that might sound, if you have an alternative that you know you'd be happy also doing, probably the safer option and will save you loads of the emotional turmoil that you will go through trying to pursue this. I got in to study economics but didn't want to do it, I was just doing it to keep my school happy and keep my parents happy at the time, I would have been miserable. I, I know I would have dropped out. If I know that would make me happy, then I'd probably do that. I'd probably go and do economics, mm. but I just don't think it will make me happy. Oh my god, you are so musical theatre. It's like, it's in your DNA. Oh my god. <laughs> you will I always so. be doing musical theatre, I think. So that's why I wanted to make the video, because I wanted to talk about, not to have a moan about it really, mm. but, 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 but to talk about the how... Realities. The realities? The realities and how a one day can... It was so obvious to me when I spoke to you about it that mm. it was such an extreme day. The morning I couldn't have felt more low and then our oh, mum's gonna be up she, mum's gonna be texting me going are you all right are you okay? and then in the afternoon when i got the offer i was just like oh my god for the next three months everything is going to be fine i'm going to be working and yeah. earning a decent wage yeah. get me through half a you know you start thinking like get me through half january and then you know see this is now making me going because oh, after sunday i don't have any work so <laughs> That's the reality of it, that it just goes You will have days, like Wednesday, where you will wake up and you just think, I can't get out of bed, I don't want to do this anymore. But if that happens day after day after day after day after day, 
maybe reconsider, but one day is okay. It is just a waiting game for the right pieces to come along, the right parts to come along. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks I hope this watching. has been interesting and informative. Useful, hopefully. As hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. Starlight Express. <laughs> Starlight Express. Oof. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Lots of love. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go and follow Riddell on her blog. And she's running the marathon. Um, are you running the marathon? You are, aren't you? I am running the marathon. Should go running. That's it for now. Um, lots of love. See you very soon. Bye. Bye. Hello, Hello, everyone. I did it wrong again. <laughs>